Yeah, they always say, ah, Austria, it's a beautiful country, good chocolate, nice people. No. <laughs> that is Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, and some people think that I put on an accent, but no, I talk like this. <laughs> if I put on an accent, it would be something sexy. <laughs> Like French or Italian, yeah. But nobody puts on a German accent. <laughs> By choice. <laughs> yeah, but, but I love living. Is anyone here from Austria actually tonight? No, no. Yeah. It's a very small country, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, give me a cheer if you're British. <laughs> yeah, I love British people so much. I think British people, you are so nice. You're so nice, everyone, you always say, hi, how are you? That's so nice, even to strangers. In Austria, we don't do that. When we see a stranger, we don't say, how are you? We say, who are you? <laughs> but, but there's only one answer that you can say. What, what do you say when somebody asks you, how are you? Fine, thank you. I know, everyone always says, fine, thank you, no matter how bad you feel. <laughs> I'm thinking, how does therapy in the UK look like? It's like, hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> Brilliant, that will be 75 pounds, please. <laughs> and you also have another phrase that I love. You, a lot of people always say, good for you. <laughs> I love that, I say, I'm from Austria. Oh, good for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm a comedian, good for you. <laughs> my, my hamster died, good for you. <laughs> I love it, it's so positive. No, I, you're so nice people. And, and I love living in London, I, I love it. I think the, the only thing, London compared to Austria is very dirty, yeah. Before I moved to London, I was actually blonde. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I tried to get rid of my accent as well, and I still have the accent, I, I'm studying so hard, the British accent. There's, although there's one word I can say in English, that makes me sound English. Yeah. Unfortunately, that word is a parsnip. <laughs> Try to throw that in. Hi, I'm Alice. I really like parsnip. <laughs> oh, good for you! <laughs> that's great, that's great. Do you know anything about Austria, actually? Does anything? Do you know anything about Austria? Yeah. Hitler. Hitler! Oh, thank you. <laughs> exchange policy, yeah? We keep the good thing in the country and ship out the bad. <laughs> we ship Hitler to Germany. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger to the States. <laughs> and now, <laughs> I am here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Austria is safe now, yeah. <laughs> no, but normally when I ask Austria, everyone always says, Sound of Music. Do, do you know that? Give me a cheer if you know that movie. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you don't know that movie. Yeah. Are you from Austria? <laughs> because nobody in Austria knows that movie. Yeah, I had to Google it. Yeah. And it's uh, Julie Andrews, she's, she's great. She's in the Alps. Uh, she plays the guitar, watch it. She plays the guitar without moving her left hand. <laughs> it's amazing. And she wears clothes that are made out of curtains. Yeah, yeah some things never change. <laughs> And the main character, Mr. Funtrap, he works in the Austrian Navy. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> yes, Austria is a landlocked country. <laughs> we don't have a navy. <laughs> American movies, American education. <laughs> oh, Americans, don't shoot me. <laughs> they do these things, yeah? <laughs> So they live in Salzburg and they run away from the Nazis. So they go over the Alps to run away from the Nazis. But if you are in Salzburg and you go over the Alps, you are in Germany! <laughs> That's why they never showed the sequel. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but last time when I asked her if people know something about Austria, somebody actually shouted, fucking. And I was not surprised because fucking in Austria does exist. Yeah, <laughs> not what you think. No, it is a town in Austria. A town, yeah, you know it, you can Google it, you can Google it. There is a town called fuck, it even has fucking street signs. <laughs> it's great. 
It's going to go there. It's, it's a, a lot of tourists come. They go to Salzburg. They do the Sound of Music tour, and then they go to fucking and do the <laughs> fucking tour. <laughs> Oh, it's great. It's fucking is amazing. I mean, they have a, a fucking church. <laughs> There's a fucking castle as well. <laughs> they, they, they even have a fucking football club. <laughs> Where's template? Fucking. Uh, fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> but the sad thing about this, a lot of American tourists come and they, and they steal the, the fucking street signs, you know? And, and <laughs> it's, it's very sad. The people who live there, it's very, the, the fucking locals. <laughs> <laughs> they are very sad about this. And what they did is, they changed the name. In the last year, they changed the name from fucking to fucking. Yeah, it, it's good now. The Americans, they don't come and steal the street signs, uh, but the people from Manchester do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's very difficult, it's very difficult. And another thing about me is I'm from Austria and I am gay, yeah, yeah. And uh, not, 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 not happy gay, no, not happy gay, but gay gay, you know. <laughs> like, like lesbian gay. <laughs> What's the sign for that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually the most famous lesbian from Austria. Yeah. I'm also the only lesbian from Austria. <laughs> They're very lonely. But it's amazing here. I, I, love, I love being in the UK, in London. Oh my God, I went on lesbian Tinder. Woo! There are a lot of lesbians here. And, and ha, have you been on lesbian Tinder? I don't know, yes. you maybe, yeah, yeah, I, I thought. <laughs> we swiped each other, right? Yeah, I thought I knew you, yeah. But, but there's a lot of lesbians, like with photos of them and their friends. And I'm thinking like, who is she then? Or do I get all of them? <laughs> <laughs> that there was this one lesbian, she, she was like really sexy, she, she put her shirt up and she pouted, but in the background of the photo was her grandmother knitting. <laughs> so I thought I will take the grandmother. <laughs> yeah, she, she's creative, right? And she has um, finger skills. <laughs> No, I didn't. There, there was this other girl. There was this other girl. She did a handstand in underwear. Uh, this didn't look sexy. This looked uh, unsafe. <laughs> I dated her just to make sure she's alright. <laughs> she was weird because she wanted me to do sex talk in German. I was quiet too. It's like, do you want that in bed with you? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. That was my reaction. <laughs> Because, because uh, you know, sex talk in French is sexy, right? I could say anything. I could say, bon, bonjour, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Baguette. <laughs> <laughs> or it's sexy, right? Or Spanish is sexy. I could say, mmm, pella las baratas, corta las enrojas, corta las enrojas. There was a recipe for tortillas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what do I say in German? What do I say? Mmm, ich möchte dich ans Bett fesseln, deine Brust warzen, küssen, ja. <laughs> Schmetterling. Sounds like a quote from Mein Kampf. <laughs> I know, right? and, and German is not a sexy language, right? Because, because it's very literal. For example, um, the, the shoes you wear in the house in England, you call them slippers. In German, we call them house shoes. It's cute, right? Or you, you, wear, you wear gloves, we wear hand shoes. <laughs> you wear a bra, we wear a breast holder. <laughs> The German word for sex is called Geschlechtsverkehr. <laughs> if you translate that back into English, it means genitalia traffic. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know, I, I, I don't know what you say in English. Maybe in English you say like, mm, I want to kiss your nipples, I don't know. <laughs> But the German word for nipples is called Postwarzen. <laughs> if you translate that back into English, it means breast warts. <laughs> Genitalia traffic and breast warts. No, no, don't ask a German to do sex talk in German. And I told, I told Handstand Girl that. And she said to me, I said, she said to me, it's fine, it's fine. Don't do it in German, do it in English then. 
But see, I learned English at school. You know, I mean, I can write a letter of complaint. <laughs> but sex talk, what do I say? Do I say, hmm, to whom it may concern? <laughs> I'm not satisfied with the service provided. <laughs> I expected quicker delivery. <laughs> Please cancel further orders. <laughs> Pass the <point. laughs> No, so that day didn't work out. And actually my dad, he was very, when I saw my dad the other day, he was very upset with me because he said, Alice, at your age, I mean, look at you, what, have, what do you have achieved at your age? I had a proper job, I had two children and I had a house. And I was just thinking about it, and then I looked at him and I said, Good for you! <laughs> and I just want to leave you with this one. I actually, I wrote a book, uh, it's, it's in English actually, and it's called uh, The Anti-Self-Help Book. And I have a few copies with me here tonight if you want to buy it. It's called Anti-Self-Help, but if you buy it, it helps. <laughs> Maybe not you, but me. <laughs> yeah, it's 10 pounds and all the money goes, uh, writing to my bank account. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. And I just want to leave you with a little review I got. I got a really nice review. It says, Alice's sense of humor is brilliant. She makes me laugh every time. Yeah, that was from my therapist. <laughs> You've been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. We go give it up for Alice Frick. So uh, we're, we're going to crack straight on with the uh, with the uh, second act in this section.